straight talk with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, alright here. Oh, simply straight, simply straight talk. Oh, 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 so what you're that's that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing right now. Really? So he was all that and a play the chitlins. Okay, then. If he was that good of a man to you, then why are you not with him now, then? Who is he arguing with? One second. Can you hold on? Well, if you don't want to wait, then go call your ex then. Like I said, do whatever. Besides, I have someone over here now. Somebody's coming over. Hey, who are you? Hold on. Can you just say I'm here? What? Why am I doing this? I want the person on the phone to know that you're here. So just say I'm here with Reggie. Give me the phone. Hello and yes, I am here with Reggie. Boy, take this phone. Yeah, so you heard it. Now bye. So what's up, homie? What's up, best friend? What's up, bestie? Stop. Do not homie and bestie me right now because I had some questions like who were you arguing with on the phone and why did I have to tell whoever that was I am here? Oh, come on now. We don't need that drama. Well, it's going to be some real drama if you don't tell me what all that was about, homie and bestie. All right. All right. Keisha and I were talking and the conversation was going good now. So I suggested that we have like a little weekend getaway. Then she said... Her ex believed that weekend getaways is what broke men do and that causes women to good women to be ruined. Then I said, okay, if he was that good then, then why are you not with him? Then she had the nerve to come out of her mouth and say, maybe I should be because I can't handle or get a real woman. So you had perfect timing when you came in. I had you say, hello, I am here. So now she thinks I got another woman over here so she can kick rocks flawless execution you mean can't as in cannot right that's what i said can't can't and cannot are the same thing spell can't you know what never mind okay i'm just trying to wrap my head around all this foolishness that you have now put me in the middle of i guess you had a went there moment but i don't like being surprised like that well that's my bff i knew you would have my back anyway what is a went there moment what are you talking about Really? You don't know what that means? A went there moment is when someone says or does something out of pocket to stir up some drama or to attack somebody emotionally. Like what Keisha did to you. In her case, it makes no sense to play that game. I mean, was she expecting you to say, forget the weekend getaway, we'll go to Europe? Dang, I never looked at it like that. Well, let's look at something else. You know how that crazy girl thinking that me and you were together. You know, I don't like her at all. Ah, she don't know it was you. You just some random woman on the phone for all she knows. Besides, who do you like except me and Angelique anyway? Whoever I choose to like. Anyway, why didn't you call your other bestie for your little petty moment of drama? Well, if you want to know, one, because you were here. Two, you always have my back and ask questions later. Three, you need to just have my back without asking questions. And four, don't get slapped again with that smart mouth of yours. Uh Aha, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying you slapped me that day I was on your couch? Boy, are you stupid? You had your feet on my couch. Oh my goodness. What did you think happened? I thought a bug or a bee stung me in my face. Now, you know, I don't have any bugs or bees of any kind in my house. Now, as for you... That's a different story. What are you talking about? I keep a clean, bug-free house. Has Keisha been over here? Only twice, but not since, uh, what, last week? Well, there you have it. You had the face of a beetle and the body of a roly-poly right here in your house. (laughs) I am so funny. Oh, you got jokes today, huh? You got bad taste in bug women. (laughs) I am on a roll with these jokes. Hello to every one of our Simply Straight Talk listeners. Are you ready to free your mind and free your voice? Well, you're listening to the right podcast. So let's get this real talk started with your host, Reggie Maddox. 
Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. This is your man Reggie Maddox. I hope everybody is out there staying safe during this pandemic, this whole COVID thing, and you got this craziness going on with politics and politicians. Listen, anyway, y'all stay safe because I get in a rant about all that. I, I definitely got some feelings about all that stuff, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, I want to talk about went there moments. Now, when I say went there moments, I want to talk about the moments in a person's life that you look at somebody and you can't believe they said something or did something or their behavior indicates something. And it just sends you to the point to like, I'm ready to fight. Now, you see this all the time. Sometimes you just may not recognize it if it don't happen to you, but I'm pretty sure you watch these reality TV shows and you looked at him and said, oh man, I can't believe she said that. I can't believe he did that. It's a went there moment. It's a went there moment to where the person who somebody went there on is literally saying, I'm ready to fight. It's fight time. No more talking. You've crossed the line. It's time to fight. I don't want to hear nothing else. And after we get done, there is no truth. There's no making up. This is war because you went there and you did not need to. And that's how a lot of people feel when they're on the receiving end of a went there moment. Some people feel like, listen, we can dislike each other and we can beef, but there's a boundaries. You know, there are certain places you just don't go when you're beefing with somebody. And normally people will say, if, I'm beefing with you. You don't bring kids into it. Like if two men are like, don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? Don't like each other. Can't stand each other. The rule is say what you want to say about me. I'm going to say what I'm going to say about you, but don't talk about my wife. Don't talk about my kids because once you do that, we got a problem and it's no longer going to be set up with words. It's going to be set up with hands. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be throwing these bowls and the same thing with women. You know, women are like, listen, you can say what you want to say somewhat about me. Don't ever mention my kids, my husband, uh -huh, uh -huh, but we're going to fight on the other two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just playing, ladies. But no, but seriously, you know, people will go there. And when you have a went there moment and a person does go there with you, it's time that you are like, I'm, I'm not trying to hear nothing you say right now. And some people feel like, they're just so comfortable thinking that they're going to get the last laugh, that they're going to get the last word in. And when they go there on you, they feel like, oh, if I say this, I'm going to box her in. It's going to shut her up. She's going to be embarrassed. He's going to be embarrassed. They're going to walk out. La they're going to walk out crying. They're going to walk out upset. Everybody's going to look at them like they're stupid. But that's not the case. Quite often when you when you when you take somebody to a went there moment, especially you talking to somebody that's real, when you do a went there moment, don't be surprised if that person just hauls off and cracks your jaw because you went there. And like I said, well, let me tell you my definition of went there. So it might help you kind of understand a little better. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but let me give you my definition of went there. Now, my definition of went of a went there moment is when someone says or does something that would create drama or conflict, you know, based with information, behavior, or actions, you know, that might betray the trust or initiate, you know, a cause for a negative emotional response. Because that's what they want. They want a negative emotional response from you. So they got to keep pushing it, pushing it, and pushing it until they hit that went there moment. Listen, have you ever worked somewhere or just hung out with so somewhere and there's always that one person who feel like everybody has to like them. Everybody has to talk to them. But you may be like, listen, I'm very close knit. You know, I don't, I don't chat with everybody like that. My circle is small. So that person may feel like, oh, so you totally talk to two or three people, but when I speak, you just say hello and bye and that's it. You just keep it short. Now, I'm about to call you out. And they try to do it in front of people. They start trying to get information about you, start trying to dig up stuff. So they, in order just to have a conversation with you and just to feel like you need to be their friend, 
They're going to try to have this whole elaborate conflict with you, trying to call you out. Oh, you got these allies. You got these alliances. You think you better than other people. And then eventually they hit that went there button, which they thought was going to make you just kind of be like, look, man, I ain't got no beef with you. We cool and all this. And come to find out the dude, you know, you thinking they're going to come to you like that. But real talk, you know, they came with you and just smack you straight across the face and stumped you on the ground. You got to be careful about with their moments. You got to be careful about when their moments, because oftentimes people will use them for the wrong reasons at the wrong time. You trying to get a negative emotional reaction. You trying to hurt somebody's feelings. You trying to make somebody feel like they need you or make somebody feel inadequate or less than or embarrass somebody that mess will backfire it will backfire on you and it could backfire to where you're going to find out that you're probably going to need to have some good medical insurance that's why you need to be careful you need to be careful now for those of you who feel privileged and think that you can say whatever you want when other people are around or you think you're so cool with a person that you don't have to respect the went, the went there aspect of a relationship. Let me tell you right now, when you hear somebody tell you that you went there, just know an ass whooping countdown is in progress. And don't be surprised if the countdown starts at one. Then by before they even say zero, you already hit. You got to understand that. When their moments occur, mostly when people are angry or they got some hidden frustrations on the inside. It's something inside of them that's making them upset or don't like a person. So they want to push that button to the highest level. So let me tell you why I feel, okay, that when their moments are so dangerous. Simply put, it's done with the intent to hurt somebody emotionally. And the person reaction can be extremely volatile. That's what went their moments are for. Let's, let's take a step back. Let, y'all remember on the real uh, Housewives of Atlanta when Portia and Kenya was kind of going back and forth. Now, Portia was cool. Portia was cool. Now, she was disagreeing and making comments about how Kenya's uh, alleged prince, African who boyfriend, whatever, wasn't real. She was staying her side, but she was cool. She wasn't yelling. Kenya started pointing this little scepter thing at her. You know what I'm saying? Reaching across. I can't remember the other lady's name, but reaching across her and pointing in that Portia. And then Portia snatched it and threw it away. Kenya's dumb butt missed the warning signs that she about, she's about to go there. Now, this is a case of where a person's action is a went there moment. Kenya then reached down beside the chair, pulled out a megaphone, started putting batteries in it, turned the megaphone on and started turning towards Portia and speaking to her through a megaphone when you're sitting two feet apart. Now, for y'all know, if you somebody's talking to you through a megaphone and you're like two to three feet from them, that is loud. It is annoying. And she did it a couple times before She ended up getting drugged across the floor. She went there. She pushed the went there button and Portia solved the problem by dragging Kenya across the floor. Now, some people say Kenya, uh, Portia was wrong for grabbing Kenya and dragging her. Personally, Kenya had that coming. You got to be careful when you go to those went there moments. And like I said, a went there moment is not always words. It's behavior. It's actions. There are things you can do that can be considered as a went there moment. And Kenya went there. She went there when she pulled that megaphone out and started talking in this megaphone to this girl that's literally two to three feet from her. You have to be careful. Unless you got some hand skills, I suggest you keep your went there actions, words, and behaviors to yourself. So that's an example of a went there moment that got volatile. Think about how many times you have heard a woman go out of her way to tell a man, oh, you're a, you're a bitch. Uh, you're a weak man. And 
you know, in some cases, even reference the fact that he was a worse performer in bed than, you know, her last person she dated. Now, it's not just women, okay? I'm not just pointing out women here because we also have men that will do the same thing to women. You know, we have men that are trying to make women feel unattractive or call them a slut or a loose woman, and they're, but they'll just add some type of derogatory term behind it to try to degrade them because they're trying to get, go to that went there moment. Now, fellas, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of advice, and I need y'all to listen to me right now. With men, you know, we can have a went there moment. And we may remember it, but we'll sort of let it go. It can kind of be eased away. But let me tell you something. If you have a went there moment with a woman, okay, best believe, best believe it is not forgotten. It is not forgotten. And you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it because it's stored in a data bank and it's, it's got a, it's filed away, but it's ready to be pulled when needed. You got to understand that, fellas, because we'll say some stuff and then be like, damn, did I say that? Well, you know, I didn't mean it. Women will pull that out the day, the time, what the argument was about, how you said it, exact wordage, using the exact verbiage. Listen, fellas, don't just don't do the went there went there moment with women because they just got they keep a database of that stuff and they hold on to it. We'll remember it, but we'll kind of have it all dribbled up a little bit, you know, confusing words and stuff. They're going to quote it direct as is, like you said. I'm just sharing some advice. One brother to my other men out there. I'm just telling you facts. That is facts. Now, the thing about it is when, when men and women do this in relationships, you know, you're trying to hurt the other person. Or sometimes that person says something to hurt you. You feel like they went there. So you want to elevate your went there in your attack on them. And, get, and it goes back and forth to a his support to when that went there moment has been topped out. And to one person just feel like, you know what? The hell with it. Put them up. Let's go for blows. Because uh-uh, uh-uh. You, and you know when a person hits that. And we have to be mindful about that. Because went there moments do not only apply to couples, it also applies to friends and families. Went there moments can range from like repeating something that, you know, you were told in confidence in the heat of a, in the heat of the moment, or, you know, even doing an argument, blowing off somebody, eye rolls, you know what I'm saying? And you could be where somebody's around and you're sort of like, slighting your maid or dogging out your friend, you know, you're saying stuff or doing something that that person is like, Oh no, that's it. And oftentimes the person who did the went there moment, they know it's wrong. They know it's wrong. They know they shouldn't have did it. They know they shouldn't have said it. They know the behavior was inappropriate, but sometimes out of anger, out of disrespect, they go ahead and act it out. And when they do, like I said, there are consequences. And oftentimes the consequences can result in the loss of a husband, wife, child, friend. They don't want nothing to do with you. Because when a person has been holding something in and they finally let loose, they may hit that when there that went their moment. You got people who are holding in frustrations about their relationships or things that people have done. And then when they just open up, they just let everything out, even though, and they get to the point to where it's just a went there moment. Some people can catch themselves like, no, no, that's too much. I can't say that other people don't care. They going to shoot it out there. They going to release it. So you got to be careful about that. You really do. Because think about this. Some relationships don't recover now. And you have to ask yourself, how important is this person? And are you willing to lose a friend, husband, wife, or child by going into the went there moment factor of an argument or a relationship? When you hit that went there moment, you may risk losing that person. So you got to think about the things you say. 
how you say it, where you say it, when you say it, who you say it to. Because like I said, once you get to that point to where it's a went there moment, it, it's quite possible that you may not never get that person back. You may not get their trust. You may not get their love. You may lose everything about that person. But you know what? Y'all stick around because we're going to talk about how to survive a uh, went there moment and how to help keep yourself from getting into went there moment. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, we all know that Atlanta, Georgia is a big city and sometimes you might need just a little bit of help. But you know what? That's why we have Legs Concierge Services. Are you looking for someone to help you with errands, event planning, dog walking, organizing, shopping, or maybe you're in need of a personal assistant? Then you need to contact Legs Concierge Services operating in Atlanta, Georgia. For more information on these and additional services, contact rarmstrong105 at gmail.com. That's R-A-R-M-S-T-R-O-N-G-105 at gmail.com. Remember, time is precious, so let Les Concierge Services help you enjoy it so much better. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. All right, Sink Straight Talk family, welcome back to the second part of the show. Listen, today we're talking about went there moments that kill relationships. And I know, I know. Y'all, let me know. Y'all, share, share with me in the comments. Let me know about a went there moment that you had with somebody. Somebody that it could have been a family member, a friend, somebody you thought you really trusted. You know what I'm saying? I'm really curious to know that the went there moment happened during a time when there was an argument or you're beefing. Or do you feel it was just somebody that was spiteful and just wanted to like either put your business out there or somebody was just trying to hurt you? Y'all share that with me because I am really curious to know because when we talk about went there moments in the early part of the show, we talked about how it impacts a person. We talked about, you know, some reasons of people may use the went there moment, you know, and we also talked about the consequences, which is basically you could get cracked across the jaw. But the thing about it is not only do we have to deal with went there moments, we also have to learn how to either limit them or prevent them or just be conscious ourselves that we don't push a situation to a went there moment without understanding the consequences and more so than the fact that you can get punched or beaten up, but more of the, more in regarding the fact that you could be losing a close friend. You be, you could be losing a good man, a good woman, you could actually lose your child who would never speak to you again. So we have to think about these things when we go into the mindset of, I'm going to take it there. I'm going to give them a went there moment and I'm going to be the one to do it. So we have to think about stuff like that. We have to be mindful of it. And one of the first ways we can start to be mindful of went there moments is controlling your emotions. And this works not only for the person who went there, with a situation, but the person who's on the receiving end, you have to be in control of your emotions because we understand that. Yeah, you might beat the crap out of them or they might beat the crap out of you, but do you really want to go to jail? Do you really want courts and all that type stuff? Do you really want that type of reputation? Lose your job. We know all that's a possibility and that's a possibility that we don't feel we need to deal with. So you have to learn to control your emotions and actually think things through. Now, I know a lot of times when we get into arguments or we into some type of heated debate, you know, the second a person sort of pauses to kind of either think about the question or the person is trying to put their words together, the other person is going to say, oh, well, you're lying. Oh, you ain't got nothing to say. They're like forcing you to respond. And sometimes 
they really don't want the first response that pops into your head because the first response could be a went there moment. So on both sides, be willing to learn to control your emotions. Think about what you're going to say. Give that person time to process their thoughts, process what they're receiving from you and allow them to put something out there that could probably remedy the whole situation or at least de-escalate the situation. Because like I said, the moment one person goes to that went there moment, it changes the whole scale of the issue. It changes it. That person may never see you in the same light again. I've seen best friends, best friends who were best friends for years. Stop talking to each other. Don't hang around each other. Want nothing to do with each other because somebody went to that went there moment. Somebody went there. Perfect example was when I was in the Navy, uh, it was three of us that was really cool. And one guy, now me and the other guy, we knew that he was dating a girl in this new church we found and he had a girl in Louisiana. So he had really fallen in love with the girl that in the church, cause we was in San Diego at the time. So he had fallen in love with the girl in San Diego, but he still had the girl in Louisiana. But our other friend, when an argument sort of brew between the two, he sort of laid it out there like, listen, you messing with her, but you got a woman in Louisiana. That's wrong. And I just ducked my head like, oh my God, because he said it in front of him and the girl he was with in San Diego. Now I'm not condoning cheating. I'm, I don't like cheating, but I just feel like that wasn't the place to do it. And it really did. Not only did it mess up their friendship, it messed up the whole group friendship as all at as a whole so we sort of spoke but it was never the same after that so that's why i said you got to be mindful about that the next thing is think about what you're saying and if you're in a heated argument learn to walk away now women i'm not picking on you but i'm just saying this because i think it'll really help okay women when someone tries to walk away let them walk away And I'm only specifying women right now in this case, because I have seen a lot of women end up in a fight, you know, just based on the fact that they don't recognize the warning signs that violence is coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's knocking right there on their doorstep. But some women are just determined that they want a specific answer right now, or they want the result in this moment about the situation. And Women will go there. There are women who will absolutely go there. And I mean, they take the went their moment to a whole 10 new levels. So be careful. And men do the same thing. You know, if, if you're arguing with another brother, another man, you're arguing with a family or a child, or you're arguing with your wife, wife arguing with your husband. When you see that person is trying to step back, a lot of situation to just take a break. You take a break, let them take a break. Cause then you may come back with calmer heads because sometimes a person can get so angry and so upset. Their emotional adrenaline is so high that they don't see or hear anything you're saying, but they do feel the need to say anything that's going to hurt you and shut you down. That's why learn to let people walk away from an argument. Don't push the button. Don't demand an answer. Don't demand a result. Let everybody walk away and cool down. Because once that happens, you can come back with cooler heads. You might want to bring a third person in who you, who could be like a, like a mediator, or maybe you want to change the location. So it's not something private, but something that's public because you might be in a little more control if you're somewhere public. Some people, some people just don't care. They, they, they just going to show who they are, but think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? It'll help because when you keep going at somebody, they're going to, you're going to have a went there moment because they're going to go there and you don't want that, especially if you really want the relationship 
that you're arguing and trying to keep. The next thing is know who you can trust. Know who you trust. Know who you can trust. Know who you can talk to. Be careful about the information that you put out. Be careful who you reveal things to. Be careful about that. Because I know sometimes we all need to talk to somebody. We all need somebody we can confide in. You know, it's not always good to keep everything to ourselves. We need to be able to share. But sometimes sharing, especially sharing with the wrong person, can lead to a win there moment. Because sometimes some people make friends too fast. You know what I'm saying? And this has always been my pet peeve on a job when people say we're friends. And I'm like, no, we're not friends. We're coworkers. Don't take it personal. That's just a place you fit. If I don't talk to you outside of work and we don't talk about things outside of work, if we only talk at work, you're a coworker. If I don't talk to you about my private life, you're a coworker. If you don't know anything about me outside of that, I work here and these are my beliefs about the company, you're a coworker. And there's nothing wrong with that. So be careful how you quickly you go into labeling people as a friend. And there's one group of people that is very good at doing that. And it's so annoying, but other coaches don't. I think some of y'all know what I'm talking about, but you know, just cause we work together, we're not a friend. So be careful who you start calling a friend, who you start confiding in, because you're revealing so much and giving so much information that you're setting yourself up for a went there moment. When you come to find out that this person is not who you think they are, they are nothing like who you think they are. So when you do have an argument or tension starts to rise or their conflict starts to come between you, well, guess what? Now you reach the situation to where you're going to about hit a win there moment because you feel deceived. You thought they was one person. They feel deceived. They thought you was another person. You know what I'm saying? So now that emotional rush comes and here we go with that went there moment, which in this case, if you're on a job, it can affect your job. So be mindful about that. Hey guys, we're going to take another quick break and we'll be right back with the final thoughts of today's show. We'll be back with your host, Reggie, on Simply Straight Talk. Hey, are you looking for some great music, upbeat and with a positive voice? Well, the song I Stand With You is exactly what you need. This timeless song has a pop version sung by Audrey Carmel. And a reggae version sung by General Steele, now known as Revelation. Now I know some days you may feel blue, Lord. Trust in your greatness to see you through. These songs are now available on iTunes and other digital platforms for download. Don't miss out. Get your copy today. Give life your best and I know. Are you ready for the straight truth? Reggie, what's the final word for today? Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the final thoughts of today's show. Today, we talk about with their moments and how they kill relationships. Listen. I know that when any time we get in an argument or any time that we feel like we dislike somebody, we are very tempted to take it to that level of a went there moment. And, you know, like I said earlier in the show, a went there moment is just basically someone trying to hurt you emotionally or it's either by words, it's by behavior, it's by actions. But the thing you got to think about is, are you really willing to push it to that level of a went there moment that you're going to lose a friend, a family, a husband, a wife, a child? And many of us, we get so angry sometimes or we have whatever our reason is for being upset, whatever our reason is for disliking somebody, that when we do reach the point of a confrontation, we feel it's necessary to take it to a went there moment level. When their moments often end in relationships not recovering or not being the same. So think about that as you start to go through life, as you start to deal with more people. Think about the information that you do disclose. Think about the people that you keep close to you. And like I said, if you really feel like you're in an argument, don't be afraid to walk away. If you're starting to think in your mind that I'm about to say this and I know this is going to 
embarrass this person. It's going to hurt this person. Despite the fact that they may have said something to embarrass or hurt you, do you really want to take it to that level? Are you really thinking the process through of what you're about to say that if I say this, there's no coming back. We're not friends. We're not husband and wife. My child may never want to speak to you again. Or even a child may say something to where the parent or the mother or father is like, I love you, but I can't deal with you. One of the hardest things to do is to lose somebody over something that you said, even though you meant it, but the way you presented it just caused a rift in the relationship that just can't be healed. It can't be mended. We need to think about the things we do. We need to think about those went there moments when you look for a reason to push a, per a person's button that's going to get a negative emotional response that could lead to lead to them feeling like my only response to you is violence. Not words, violence. You went there, but I'm going to fix this physically because there's no words I have to say to you right now because what you said and what or what you did and your went there moment with me caused me so much hurt that I don't even hear you anymore. I don't see words anymore. I'm not contemplating words anymore. I'm contemplating violence, destruction. But you can prevent that. You can prevent that on both sides. Like I said, learn to control your emotions. Learn to walk away. Let somebody walk away if you see them hitting that peak. And don't keep pushing it and pushing it when somebody's walking away to where you hit that, you know, went their moment because you want them to turn around and continue to engage in an argument or debate with you. You know what I'm saying? Don't use a went there moment like that because it could be a regrettable moment for you and that person. Also, the same thing applies for friends. It applies for being on the job. People will use went there moments as a way of attacking somebody. But like I said, a went there moment is an emotional attack that is done through a person's behavior, a person's words, or a person's actions. So you have to control your behavior. And if somebody does pull a went there moment on you, sometimes you got to learn to walk away. Because if you give in to a went there moment, you're giving that person power. That person now feels like they know what to do to get you into a submissive position to where they can put you in a position to where you're at a disadvantage, either legally, either morally, ethically, on the job. They're going to do what they can. They feel like they can make you look bad where your character and your integrity are now being questioned. And that's something that you don't want to do. All right. Hey, thank you for tuning in today. This is Reggie Mattis, man. I really appreciate all the love and support. I am going to check out the Q&A uh, for those who email me some questions on my website that's cut uh, so you email me there rmaddox at rmvrgene.com some of you have been dropping uh questions on stuff on instagram and twitter so i'll definitely check that out as always thank you for the love and support and i look forward to talking to you guys again and i will see you next week don't forget man share your thoughts and feedback on this show i want to know what you think Thanks for joining us this week on the Simply Straight Talk podcast. Make sure you visit our website at rmviagem.com where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Lipson, SoundCloud, or Spotify so you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that will help us out too. Thank you and see you next week.